Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show how to create a bar chart in StatCrunch using summary data. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get to the StatCrunch website at statcrunch.com and log in. You need to have an account already. I'm going to log into mine right here. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to create a data file uh, because when you're using summary data, it's, it's a really simple thing. So I'm just going to go right here to open StatCrunch and click on that. And it's going to bring up a window, the Java window right here, where I can uh, type in what I want. So I will take an extremely simple example and just make a bar chart showing the number of men and women in a, uh, in a class. Um, by the way, I'm making this up, but it'll be approximately correct. First, I'm going to name this variable. You just click on it, and you can't really tell you're there, but you just hit delete, 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 and I'll put gender. And I'll put male and female. Cool, great. Although, as I've explained before, technically that's sex, not gender, but we'll deal with that some other time. And then for the variable two, I'll just put n for the sample size. And let's imagine this is one of my... Uh, sections of statistics or something. Maybe I'll have uh, 12 men and mm, 28 women. I tend to have more women than men in uh, behavioral science courses. Anyhow, so I just want to make a bar chart showing the number of men and women. Very simple. All I do is I come right here to graphics to bar plot with summary data because I have written down that these are the categories and these are how many people are in them, as opposed to putting uh, one thing at the top that says gender and putting male, male, female, male, female, 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 etc. So I just hit summary, and it's going to ask me where the category names are. That's gender. And then where are the counts, the frequencies, or how many people are in each category, and I have that under N. Okay, now this is if I want to do a uh, selective statement. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit next. Uh, these things are all fine. not going to worry about those. Hit next. Now, the one thing that I really um, hammer on for my students is to label things appropriately. So I'm going to put gender, oops, gender of students in, um, let's see here. Dr. Polson's, although I usually go by Bart, um, statistics class. All right, I think that's probably sufficient. And this one I don't need to worry about. Uh, hit create graph, and ta-da, there it is. And what you have is a bar plot using summary data. It says gender of students in Dr. Polson's statistics class. The frequency means how many people are in it. And we have a bar for female, it goes up pretty high, and a bar for male, you can see that there's over twice as many women as there are men. If you wanted to, and if you wanted to change this word frequency to N, it's really simple. Just go back to edit, and I can make the uh, Y axis label. I can go like this, N. See what happens. Great, it just changed it to N up here. So if you know what that means, if it helps, then you got it. Anyhow, that's that. Quick and easy, and uh, hope it helps, and I will see you later with some others. Thank you.